Hey everybody, welcome back to the number one podcast in the motherfucking world. Um, today we are interviewing the great D from the gutter, Mister Mister Fordor. <laughs> what up? What up? Yes, sir. How you feeling today? I'm chilling, chilling. How are you? I'm chilling, man. It's good to see you. We haven't talked in a box. Yeah, I be ducked up, bro. So how you been feeling? Tell me what's up with you since then. Nah, I've been cool for real. I don't really do too much about music for real. That's about it. I stay out the way. No, for real. I was, you know, I don't. I didn't really have to do much research because usually I was just listening to your music. But I already got like my couple favorite songs. But I was listening to the new one, Netflow. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I got a new favorite song now. Before, before my favorite song was just Four Daughter. Like, like I was like, no, it's like it's nothing. He dropped like albums and shit. I'm like, it's nothing. Like Four right. Door is it. And then, actually, Netflow on Netflow is my favorite song. So. What does Nefflo mean? No, it's just like, you know, you listen to a lot of these niggas from here, they sound alike now. So, like, I try to defer myself from everybody else. I try not to, I, I'm not going to say I don't try to sound like I'm not from here, but I try to make sure I don't sound like anybody else. Mm, mm, so, so that's my flow. So my nickname is Neff. Everybody oh. call me Neff. But, so, since it don't sound like nobody, it's just, I just why I said Nefflo. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely, I remember... I remember when you dropped a video for Four Door. I'm like, I hope he keep keep doing it. And I just been impressed by like like how you like you see the evolution in like them couple months or so. Right. Just by the just by the music videos, like let alone listening to the music itself for real. So so let's start from the beginning. Like where you from? I'm from Park Heights. Four minute guys, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um how explain your childhood, like was everything Nah, I ain't gonna say it wasn't too bad, but you feel me? I had my struggles, like evictions, mother could pay the bill, stuff like that, lights going off for months, shit like that. But you know, yeah, you, know, you whatever don't break you, it make you for real. Mm-hmm. Did you? Did you? What was your like? Your hobbies is like a child type shit. It's always been music, music for computers for real. I always had a thing for computers, so it's like. I could do the computer thing, but I love music. Like without music, I probably wouldn't be saying a day. Like music saved my life. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I definitely can understand that on a creator to creator level. So I mean, h- h- explain that like more yourself. What is how did music save your life? Type shit. Um, like I got real. I got. I ain't gonna say I got anger issues, but it's like I get stressed out a lot. Like yeah. I might get irritable. But like, and I could you feel me? Take like five, ten minutes. Yeah, and the music would calm me down. For real. Ever since I was little, I cry a lot, and my mother put music on, and I just quiet. What type of music was your mother putting on? Mostly like R and B. R and B, like do you, do you have a thing for R and B from your mother doing it? <laughs> uh, yeah, cause I grew up around a lot of older people, so it was like R and B. It's like it calm me down. I can't listen to all that rap music all the time. It gotta yeah. be rap. It gotta be jazz sometimes or R and B. So do you have like your favorite R and B artists? No, I ain't got fear on be honest. I ain't even go a lot. I listen to a little bit of everything. You got a favorite like song? Cause I like I like um Alicia Keys. That's my favorite person. Oh, um, no, I really don't got fever. Like <laughs> I, I I can't. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like I just love R and B music. Like it just slows. Like that rap music cool when you in that mood. But other than that, I need yeah. slow season music for real. Yeah, I feel you. So tell me, like, tell me, like. What was coming like? What was around your life when you were starting to get into like? I think I can make music type shit. I don't know what it was. One day I just used to. My uncle used to rap a lot. He ain't never take it super serious though. But my uncle used to rap, so it was like I seen him doing it. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and write a song." What What was your uncle's rap name? G Nice. That's what he called it. G Nice. G-Nice. Yeah. That sounds like some old head Baltimore shit, you know? Yeah, that's what he used to call himself, though. And yeah. I used to watch him. That's be like, yeah, I want to try it. And that's how I just ended up starting rap. Man, at first, I didn't really take it serious, though. I started taking rap serious. I was like 16. Mm-hmm. That was my first time actually going in the studio. So it was like, all right, my homeboys, they made me get in the booth and just rap a song. And I heard it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I could take this serious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, so was your uncle like, Giving you tips on like how to write music, how to write raps. No, he just give me like 
he'd tell me all this he listened to that inspired him to rap that he, you feel me, he can relate to. Mm-hmm. So it was like, he like, don't, if you gonna do this shit, tell your own story. Yeah. That's what I do. A lot of these, I don't know what they be talking about. <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, I don't know either. But I mean, sound cool. That's 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 like the that's like the hard pass type shit. Right. That's what niggas think it's all about now. You just gotta sound hard. And, uh, niggas fuck me because I'm myself. Mm-hmm. I don't. All my music, I'm myself. I can't try to sound like nobody else. No, for real. If, if, if anything, if anything, the evolution of music from like when I first heard you, when I first heard that four door music video, like it felt like it turned into that. Like you know what I mean? Up until now. So I would think it was like it's crazy how like you predicted it type shit. Like, right? Do you feel like that? Um, I ain't gonna say I predicted it. I somewhat feel like that though. Nigga, get yourself your props. But, yeah, I, I, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, bro. I can I I switched my floor a couple times, like until I found that one that I actually like. So now it was like I got my own sound, and so, I know don't nobody flow like how I did. So it wasn't like it wasn't like you were sixteen. You made your first track, and it was four door. No, nah, my first track, I don't even remember what it was. It's old shit. But like, Four Door. That wasn't even your first song. No, nah, that was just like my first album. music video. No, that, that wasn't even my first music That was my first music video I took serious. Because oh. the first video was the, to my song, Brothers. Mm-hmm. But Four Door, that was my next video. And I tried to go about it different. Like, because I was talking to this A&R, and he was like, he was like, if you going to do music, labels, they looking at, like, they looking at if you see, like, you got a storyline to a video. So it's like, I can't just keep jumping around in the hood. If I'm going to do a video in the hood, I got to make it like a movie. Yeah, so it's kind of like I was telling the story, but playing it out as I go through the song. You can definitely tell, like, from looking at your four-door video to, like, the one you dropped a month ago, it's like you can tell, like, the evolution type shit. Because now it's like I'm trying to make a movie-like. That's it can't just be we jumping around in the hood, everybody showing guns and all that. I ain't going to lie. I got a little hype when I saw that you did a music video to Netflow. Yeah, that everybody was my, my, it was like it's different. It was like it wasn't no no it wasn't no guns in the video. Exactly. It, it just, was just like it's just the fact it was so different. Uh, it just made it so much better. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So okay, so how how long what's the what's how long, how long was the period when you when you first started taking rap serious when you started like when you dropped the album? When I was sixteen, that's when I first started. Like, that's when I did my first song. Like I said, then that's when my mother she got me a laptop and a microphone. Mm-hmm. So it was like I just kept. Trying new flows, trying new flows. I'm like, I don't like this one. It just kept. I ran through a couple flows, and it was like, first I did, I was doing like straight just drill rap, mm-hmm. like no singing, no none of that. I couldn't. At first, I didn't think nobody would take them the singing seriously because they they didn't. Nobody though. wasn't doing that. Then. They really wasn't. Niggas wasn't taking it shit that you singing, but you trying to talk street shit. They like, oh, you singing, bro? <laughs> nah, that's really how. Like when I did my first song, like niggas like all this auto tune and shit. So that's why I'm like, all right. Maybe they write too much auto tune, so now it's like I don't even gotta use it like that no more. Yeah. So it's like I found my own flow. Like <sighs> niggas ain't taking serious at first. So is it like is it calculated? Is it did you find that flow like did you like meticulously calculate this or was it like you just stumbled across it? With the singing? Mm-hmm. No, at first I would try like to myself. I make songs like that, but keep it to myself. But then that's when uh who was it? Quando Rondo came out and yeah. he was doing the same and shit and they like he a street nigga he doing the same and shit I'm like they can take him seriously they can take me seriously when I'm doing it nigga Quando Rondo come on now crazy I definitely I definitely feel what you're saying bro so like what what so who are you like favorite artist type shit from here both like from at, like the first the artist no let's start let's start with like the artist that impacted you like to be, have the flow that you have to st- today. That's a good one. Um, I couldn't even say. I just know I can name some rappers that impacted me and made me start rapping, though. Yeah, that's better. Who's like, that? I'm going to say, in the city, like, from here, I see YG Tech. Mm. Like, he was the first rap I heard, and I'm just like, this shit crazy. YG Tech was the first rap you heard? Like, from here, yeah. Oh, from here. From here, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Like, before him, no, it was like, Wayne, niggas like that. 50 Cent. Wayne, 50, Jay-Z, niggas like that. It wasn't no, but then I stumbled across niggas from the city. Yeah, for real. I felt like, I felt like, I felt, I felt like I felt that same way when I found out like, oh, there's people in Baltimore that make music? 
that shit hits you and you be like and then it's created everybody else you know what I'm you're like you don't know who that is and I'm just like no like I'm living I, like, I live under a rock or something I was definitely <laughs> I was definitely late to YG Tech not gonna lie yeah, when I first heard, I'm like, oh yeah, this shit crazy. Man, he talked that real shit that nigga, you gotta be in the streets. So I had to have been through a struggle to feel you. Yeah. So it was like, yo, shit really hit me. And I'm like, for real. So that's what kind of like influenced me to make songs that niggas can feel. You can't always rap some shit. You feel me? Niggas can put, anybody can put anything together on a song. Yeah, for but real. A real song, a nigga gonna feel that. They gonna like, they gonna Take hit time. one line and be like, I felt that line. Nigga, what was that line you said? Nigga, you said, can't think of it. You said something like, nigga, change his shit. Now he off the group chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. What did I say? I don't remember it. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you talking about enough flow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's definitely was like the 2021 four door to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, drop a hit on his old fan and remove that boy from the group chat. Yes. Yeah, that's what, cause that was pretty much like, cause niggas just be talking on socials. Like, I don't Instagram beef no none of that. Niggas really be in group chats. Talking shit, sending <laughs> pictures of you, look at this nigga. I'm like, all right, you want you want to do shit like, all right, I'm going to drop a hit on your whole fan and remove that boy from the group chat. And the nigga was like, dang, no, I think that was everybody's favorite line, though. That shit hard, bro. Like, even you niggas mean, that don't know the song, they just, mm, 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 group chat. You be have, exactly, you be <laughs> having them one line, it's just like, uh, uh, group chat. Like, you got one of them, you know what I mean? So, like, all right. So, we are, we talked about, like, what took you from, like, where you came from, like, what, like, the type of shit that influenced you to start making music, like, how long... So, like, kind of talking about the other stuff that was happening around that you feel like impacted that. Like, the, like, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, watching my mother struggle, it was me. At first, it was just me and her. Then mm. she had my, uh, one of my brothers, and then she had another one. Then she had my twin sisters. So it was like, it was five of us. I'm the twin oldest. Twin sisters? Damn. Five of us. So I'm just like, my father wasn't really in the picture. So me and him wasn't really talking at the time. We talked now, though, but. So it was just my mother, all five of us, and I'm like, I'm the oldest. I'm the man of the house, like, watching my mother struggle for real. I grew up around drug dealers, killers, felons, gangs. How does, it, how does it feel now to, like, to like you saying you be talking to your father now, like, are y'all cool now? Yeah, like, you feel me? That's my man now. Like, it's missed time, but it's still cool. You feel me? You can't hold no grudge forever. Yeah. Life's short. That's good. That's good you realize that, because it's a lot of people that hold that grudge for no reason. As they realize. Right, you can't, you don't know nobody reasons, like. So it's like it's and like it's kind of like once you hear somebody out, you be like, especially when somebody like that, like you be like, oh damn, I understand like the type. Like of Like now that I'm older, we can actually sit down and talk. I understand. At first, I was just young and upset. Yeah, I feel you. But yeah, watching my mother struggling and growing up around and all that, I'm like, I got all this shit going on. She rig, we rig, get evicted again. She ain't got all the money for the bills, shit yeah, like yeah. that type shit. My siblings crying. You feel me? She got work. You feel me? She got work overtime. I gotta watch all the kids. Jeez. Make sure the kids do their. So you, you the big brother type shit. The oldest. Jeez. So it was like that shit was just like I got all this shit going. On. I need to put it in some music because that's the only thing that calmed me down at the time. Yeah. So like, I gotta put this shit in the music. And ever since then, that's just what it's been. Them loud ass headphones with a beat playing be the most quiet at times. Yeah, it ain't, especially when I'm up. Don't let me get upset. That's when I write. That's when like Netflow. When I wrote Netflow, I was mad as shit writing it. I don't know what it was. I think I was, I think I was beefing with somebody. I ain't even say it was beef. We just was disagreeing, and a nigga said something. I'm like, what was the situation? Was it like nigga, nigga took my three point five? No, I don't know. It was just <laughs> niggas just be hating, man. Like, so I'm like, niggas doing gay shit. All right, let me go hop in the booth. I'm already irritated. I'm just having a bad day all around. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go write a song or something. And I went in my car for like five ten minutes and wrote like, wrote that song. I'm like. Niggas That's better hard. not get me upset. That's when my best music come out. So do you be freestyling? No, I ain't even go. I can't. <clears throat> I can't freestyle street through. Like I punch in though. Mm-hmm. Like I see one line, stop, then continue right there. I mean, that's the same thing as freestyling. Punch Pretty in. much, but I can't do that shit straight through though. Nah, nigga, I'm, I'm still learning though. That is some, <laughs> that is some Jay Z dust my shoulders off type shit. Uh, no, nobody can do that. So like, all right, so. Tell me about like when you started making music, you started releasing music, you started getting that feedback. Tell me when you felt like you got in your pocket per se, or do you feel like you're still not in your pocket? No, not yet. I'm just getting started. Do That's you, how I feel. Do you feel like you're in the comfort zone yet? No, 
I try to I try to stay as uncomfortable as possible. I get comfortable, I'ma fall off. That's how I feel. So you basically give yourself like you be yourself like, all right, I want I want two albums this month type shit. Damn, nigga. Like it's like I drop a tape, then I'd be like a month later, two months later, I'm like, my views ain't going up high enough. Let me drop an EP real quick. That's how I ended up dropping that flow, cause I'm like. I had just dropped the tip. I'm like, I feel like I need to drop something. And then I, yeah. I'm i independent, so I could drop my shit one up. For real? Okay, no so cap. I'm like, I'm going to just drop the EP. Fuck it. Boom, drop the EP. So do you, so tell me about, like, so do you, like, you got your home studio? Do you go somewhere? Like, do you got, like, a producer that's, like, your man's or something? Yeah, I go with my man Nate a lot. Mm-hmm. 410 Nate. Or I go to... Uh, shout out Nate. Yeah, shout out my man 410 Nate. Well, I go to my man uh, KB, KB AP4 on Instagram. Them niggas go crazy. Behind that keyboard, them niggas something else. Right, them beats do be hard. What, what was that other song? No, no, the producers. No, they ain't make the beats. They my engineer producers. Oh, oh, engineer. They the talking. engineer producers. My man No Signal Brockin. No Signal, shout out. My man Ty Beats. I remember, I be, I be, I be, I be hearing them Ty Beats tags. My man, no, ain't, do you got any songs out here? I don't know. He hard though. Him and my man no signal. No oh. sig. Oh yeah. Ain't no yeah. signal with bitch. Mm. Oh shit. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Them niggas, both of them niggas, they crazy. Sound mm. my brothers. So like So like you see you already talking about like you was talking about someone you was giving your you was talking to ANRs type shit. Like, do you have labels eating at you? Should they probably I don't know. I mean, I be like a couple little pages will come hit me up, or they they be watching my stories and stuff. I don't really take make too much of it. Take I don't really pay attention to it. I don't really. Be, I ain't trying to sign a no label for real. I feel you. I'm trying to keep it independent because I like to drop when I want to drop. Mm. Shit, I might get bored right now. And be like, fuck, I'm ready to drop a song. Do you I have don't. like? Do you have like, like a manager, like a, like an OG or something that like to be like to, to feed your plans to? They'd be like, hey, I think you should do this and this and that, like. Um, I got a manager now, CEO Lamont. That's my manager. Mm-hmm. But before that, I ain't had no manager. I'm just managing myself. Mm-hmm. That's the hardest job for artists. For yeah, I, my uh, one of my uncles, he was my manager at first, but it's like you can't mix business and family. That's one thing I had to learn at the hard way. You can't mix business with family. So I'm like, hell yeah. I was my own manager for a while, and that's just stressful. It feel good to have that extra hand though. So you can just do what you. All I gotta do is music. That's it. Exactly. That's perfect. That's the that's the perfect setup that that you can have. Yeah, I mean, me personally, I'm I'm still been managing myself. Like I haven't even been like I'm. You see, I've been over here doing fucking podcast shit. You see, I'm taking my music as slow as possible. That's why I haven't. That's why when I was when you said a, a pro, two projects in a month, I'm like damn, because I haven't I haven't thought like that in a while. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I had writer's block for a minute though. I'm just getting out of writer's block. Like how long was your writer's block? Like two months. Sheesh. Matter of fact, no. Ever since I dropped the the what is it? The Nephlo EP, I felt I had felt like I put everything into that. So I'm like You worked out. Yeah. It took me a little minute to get back, but I'm like, oh yeah, it's time to it's time to drop again. Cause I ain't been dropping nothing. Nigga, writer's block is worse than fucking crack with Jaw, if you ask me. <laughs> That's just I'd be really upset. Like my girl, she'd be like, "What's wrong with you?" I'm like, "I got writer's block, my nigga." She like, "What's that? I can't write no fucking music. That's what it is." <laughs> that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like you got shit real bad, but you can't shit. It's not coming out. That shit crazy. That shit. I'm glad that shit gone. It took me a long minute. Niggas kept saying like, "When you hitting the booth? You in the booth yet?" Or like my man Osega or my man Ty, they'd be like, "Yo, shout out Osega and Ty." Yeah, shout out Osega. Shout out Ty Beats. Go check them out. Yeah, just be like, my nigga, you ain't been in the studio yet? I'm like, nah. For a long minute, I was recycling the songs that I'm like, they throw away. And I just keep recycling them, posting them like, when should I drop? Because yeah. I was in Writer Black so bad, and everybody kept asking me, where the music at? Where the music at? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I gotta give them something. That's when that flow came out. Mm-hmm. But I think, honestly, if you ask me, just as a fan, like, I feel like, I feel like you you fed them. Like, they go, they, they, they go, like, they, and they got suppers with the EP type shit. Like, you can chill, like honestly, like you got you got like what two three albums out for twenty twenty one type shit already. Yeah, nigga, like you really can take a chill, like you can really take a cool chill. I mean, if you're really willing to take that break, like not just to sit down, not do shit, but just to evolve your sound some more, like you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what the writers block did for me. I think that's what it was. It was just like it was just me telling myself, like you gotta chill. 
it's time to come back a different way though. Yeah. Ten times harder. So I'm like, all right. That's why this next project, I, I was supposed to bend drop it though. But like I had features I was supposed to be on it and niggas ain't sending features back or like Is that a mixtape? No, this I'm trying to make this an album, but it might fucking around be a tape though. What's um, the name of it? Big Neff. That's what it's called. I had Neff Floor for Big me. Big Neff? Big Neff. So it's like I ain't it's not Neff Floor no more. It's like I'm telling niggas what my name is now, like Big Neff. So they're gonna like they gonna hear this one, they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, this crazy. I like I like the change up so it's not just oh D from the gut is now it's Neff. Yeah, because D from the gut, that's just the name, but you know how Every rapper got a nickname How Lil Baby He call himself the kid Or how Dirt call him uh, What do you call him The hero Shit I didn't think Some shit for me So it's like I'm just like I'm Big Neff So it's like It's already niggas In the hood Call me nephew So it's like Alright I'm Big Neff now Yeah My name is pretty like Corny like Is it even my name Chris or Christopher Like <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> I was I was thinking about Making some corny ass Like Seamo C- Green Or some shit <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm still working on it. I'm working on it though. I'm gonna get my dirk. I'm gonna rename everybody. Everybody getting a nickname. <laughs> give me one. I need one. And I'm gonna run you gotta with give it. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's like no, but all right. So t- t- tell tell us more about this album. You said it was supposed to come out. So it was like this. This album. I post a lot. Like I I ducked off of Instagram. So I don't really post on Instagram since. Uh, I'm dropping this tape. I post a lot of the updates on my close friends because like my close friends just just for like. I just say like exclusive piece of like songs I'm dropping and stuff like that. Shit, I'm jealous, nigga. I already leaked one of them though, uh, on uh, on my Instagram. It was I did the little live performance joint on oh, my song. That. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. one of the songs that's, that's on the leak. tape. But I ain't posting the whole song. Though. I'm like, all right, niggas hear that? They like, oh yeah. That shit pressure. Then I like I kept switching the flow on that. It's called Counterfeit Love. That's probably my favorite song on there so far. That's the pressure. Now, now tell me about those live performances. Like, did you like like how did you start getting in that bag? Um, cause that shit that shit felt like you was getting to a whole nother new bag when you started doing that. Only the two of them. First, it was it was some niggas from out DC. They called Pain and a Mic. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Yeah, shout out Pain and a Mic. They uh they texted me one day. They was like, yeah, we starting up a uh, YouTube channel. We want you to be on it. So I'm like, all right, cool. And me and my girl was already planning to go out D.C. for real. Mm-hmm. So it was like they told me it was out D.C. And I was just like, it's weird how, like, that was probably just God for real or something. How, like, I already had a plan to go to D.C. And they just yeah, texted me, like. It's like landed perfectly in your schedule. They're like, yeah, we in D.C. They sent me the address. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's out D.C. <laughs> all right, we might as well go. So we did our little date for real. I'm like, fuck it, we right here. Like, they about right around the corner. So I went and did that. Damn, I didn't know D from the gutter had a Miss Gutter. <laughs> yeah. How long you had Miss Gutter? Almost a year now. We was on and off. We had a little issue. I love it though. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I felt that. Mm. Yeah, but we was out there. I bring that one out. Um, That shit went crazy. Everybody was fucking with it. That's when a lot of niggas started DMing. And I'm like, we trying to be on there too, and that shit. I guess it just blew that up. Mm-hmm. Man, if that was the that was the second one. The first one was when I did the uh, early bird joint. Oh yeah, that was my first one. That shit blew up like crazy because everybody like, oh yeah, this shit hard. Yeah, that shit. Well, that shit. That shit crazy. I felt like I felt like it was the perfect shit that captured your sound. Like it was like it was because that's a that's a prime example right there when I was like you gotta rap about something that everybody gonna feel and it's like people's reposting they making little like meme videos like mood like how they put their own little effect on it like this a mood that shit lies yeah bro you definitely I, I, I definitely feel like you got in a different bag with that so like do you feel like so are you gonna like keep I feel like me personally I thought that you started doing it like like the first time you ever did it you did it with somebody else cause they asked you and then I felt like Oh, I should start doing this, and you would start doing it on your own. Is that what you did? Yeah, so it was like, well, like the uh, with the the live, live performance. Yeah, yeah. The first one, it was just like I heard about it. Somebody was like, "You should get on this," but for that, you had to pay to get on. Mm. But I'm like, like, that shit. I paid for it. It really wasn't even that much. I think it was like a buck fifty or something Damn. like that. That's I don't. Cool. It was in that range though. But I remember I kept I've been had seeing rappers on it for like years because Early Bird been around for a minute. So it was like I was seeing rappers on there like Moose. Mm. G baby niggas, all Moose the niggas was on from, there. Yeah, Moose was on there. It was a couple niggas on there, so I'm like, this shit hard. And I was seeing it ever since, even before I was taking rap serious. I'm like, I'm gonna be on there. Mm. So I'm like, that's when I finally had my own money, so I could just hit him like how much the slots is. He told me how much the slots was. I sent it to him, and we banded out. It took him like probably like a month to send it, cause it's like 
he record them all first. He don't just record and drop. He record them all, edit them, then he drop them like episodes, like four episodes. This and this, uh, four uh four videos on this episode. Mm-hmm. So I had to wait till whichever season I was on. Oh, I get what you said. He had he had different not episode. He had different seasons for us. So it was like I had to wait for my episode to drop. Then I'm like, oh yeah, I finally got it because he had sent it to my DM. And I was like, oh yeah, this Ray go crazy. Yeah, that shit is definitely that shit is definitely hard. I mean, I feel like I feel like you can start just just with the I feel like just with the like the the um the reaction you got with the ones you got so far. I feel like you can start like your own. Like you can get your own. You can get a camera, fucking hang a mic up somewhere and do it your own, and hang up, put it on your own YouTube. You right. Know what I mean, I feel like you can do that now just from what you made from like as far as like the numbers and shit, like the audience from that. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just my opinion. I'm just a nigga, <laughs> but that's it. So, all right, we talked about the album. How many do you do you playing shit out? Like, like walk me through like when you making a record. Like, do you do you pick a beat out? Do you write a verse first? It start off with the beat. Like sometimes my homeboys might send me a beat, or I'm just in the car listening to beats, and I just be like. You feel me? Like I, I'm rapping, but I don't got the words yet. So it's just like I'm just. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, as I keep repeating it, starting to beat over, keep repeating it. Now I'm getting words for, it, and that was coming to me. Now and then that's how I start. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you don't never like you don't never like go into your shit thinking four door. No. Nah. That's hard. Bro. Four door. I just heard the beat, and I was like, and I think yeah, this was I made the song. The song originally got written because my cousin had got killed. Mm-hmm. So it was like How'd he die If you don't mind me asking Oh uh, he got shot Damn So it was like He got shot I shot a video Actually I shot the video On the block Where he got killed That and everything um, It's like It just I was angry So I'm like All right, I'm ready to write a song And this how I'm feeling right now This how this situation Got Cause me Cause we feeling. gonna slide On your block With a four door Yeah it was in a four door In a four door <laughs> Holy hell Yeah that's song uh, And then it really Blew up too Because some nigga From Atlanta Had stole my song it was some nigga He It's like He nigga. He took a He took a slow beat Or I think he took the same beat And slowed it down Oh hell and It was like You know spinning on your back In a photo mm. uh, And somebody sent it to me Cause I got a couple people's Up and line Somebody sent it I think it to I remember me. you posted that Like niggas like, I figured yeah, I, I remember I, you posted Like that. I swear to god I had woke up Everybody blowing my phone up They like yo You on Instagram I'm like nah I had deleted Instagram Cause I'm like I like to take breaks From, in, from the internet yeah. So I had I had to re-download Instagram. I'm like, come on, hurry up down. I go on there and it's a nigga bumping my song. Like he took my whole flow, everything. And I'm like, what the fuck? So then that's when I, I screen recorded because me and this nigga was supposed to be like he was he was supposedly fucking with my music. Like he told fuck that nigga. I'm gonna get so my I'm, like, sh- I'm gonna get that shit back in blood for you. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> I, was like, I was mad as shit. I'm like, I don't know. I posted and I was like, what the fuck is this? And then he had a whole bunch of his people's DM me talking about some he wrote the song first. So he screenshots when he wrote the song and posted talking about some he was a drunk in the studio or freestyle. I'm like, like, bro, that's three days at I just dropped my song, bro. You, I'm not going for that. And they made him take that shit down. So, but, but let's not let's not let's not give the flowers to whoever. Who was your cousin? What was your cousin's name? Millie Lowe. R.I.P. Millie Lowe. Long live your big great. How what, what was how close were you to him? Were you like hella close to him? Yeah. He was real cool. Together almost every day for real. Mm. 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 Okay. Well, rest in peace. Um. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but I, I, I like, I can hear the now that you say that's where Four Door came from. Like I can, I can, I can see like it all the dots all connected now. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> all right, back in this bitch. Not bad. I don't mean to be blowing smoke in your face. Like, no, you good. Like, you my girl or something. But um, we back in this bitch. We left off talking about the album covers. Now, I, I really want to talk about, like, like how do you think of your album names? Like, you just be sitting on the toilet, like, mm. <laughs> I I ain't even realize. I don't even know. It'll come from, it could come from anything. It could come from a name somebody called me or somebody was just complimenting me, like, making a joke and said something. Mm-hmm. It, it really, I don't know. They just come to me for real. Well, I could think of something somebody ever said to me, and I'd be like, "Is this one line he said, and I could put it, and I can make it a mixtape cover." Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, tell me about all right. So, how do you think about selecting? Like, how do you go about selecting songs for your album? Do you just like, 
do you just like when you make your first 12 songs or you just like you actually think of like an order and like kind of a sound you want your shit to go in like transition mm-hmm. yeah yeah just like that I, I put in it well I'd be like alright first I want to know here I don't want to put all the hype shit in the beginning so I'll mix it up like free some of, I'm a it's gonna be like some intro like it's just gonna be slow they're gonna be like alright this cool I'm gonna just keep building it up as we go down the line of tracks for real Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so one thing, one thing, when I was listening to your music, like, I was thinking, like, I like just of an idea that I can see you doing in a movie, I mean, in a, in an album type shit, like, don't you know how, like, you, like, you'll play the whole song, then, like, at the end, you slow it down hella, and then be, like, a transition to the next song? Mm-hmm. I have to feel like you can do that, or, like, but, like, slow it down, like, like, read, like, Probably like we can like what are you doing like at the end when you like kind of like mumble. I get what you're saying. So it's like like the end of the song. It kind of like how like how Roddy Rich did his uh, anti-social album for real. How it just kept transitioning through the different songs. It sounded like it was all one song. Yeah, I think if you sit down, sit down with, with one of the, like I feel like if you sit down with one of the two of the people that that produce your beats and y'all sit down and really think of a twelve song transitional project, that that shit would be. I wanted to do some shit like I've been thinking about some shit like that too. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I was thinking about doing it with this one, but I'm, I think I'm gonna do it with the next one because it's probably just gonna be a mixtape. Now when I go on album mode, it's probably gonna be like I'll put like sixteen songs on there. Jeez. So what? So how much do you averagely put on there? Probably like ten to twelve songs. Mm-hmm. Do you ever see yourself doing like a twenty song album like Lil Wayne? I feel like I could do it. I never push myself that far to actually be like, oh yeah, I want twenty songs on here. Yeah, plus like as up and coming artists, like it's harder, it's harder to get like new fans to listen to twenty of your songs right then and there. Cause they're like, all right, he hard, but I ain't really listening to twenty songs by him. Because I look at it like, and that's like is another thing. Cause people always ask me why my song's so short. Like I probably make like a song with a long ass hook, but one like, one verse on there. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I look at it like. Our generation, we we gotta show attention, man. You definitely. I ain't right. even go, <laughs> nigga that gonna listen to a four or five minute song like yeah. that lemon pepper song. That <laughs> shit like six minutes long. Nigga, nigga Twenty One <laughs> Savage got a song that's fucking fourteen minutes long. Yeah, I'm like, no. Nah, see, I ain't really listen to no song for this long. I'm probably listening to like two minutes. Like, oh yeah, that shit hard. Yeah. I tell everybody this song hard. So it was like I try to make my songs. I'm not gonna say as short as possible, but if they if they long. Is a is a is a feature on it. Yeah, I feel you. Like I feel like like now in our generation, I feel like longer songs are more so for like, like like well like well albums type shit like an album thing. Like nigga here, he going he gonna hear that two minute song, be like, all right, next. Once they see four minutes, they gonna listen to probably like a minute and thirty seconds or two minutes. Like all right, and they like, what the fuck? Why are your song so long? Now I don't even yeah. want to listen to the whole thing. I'm gonna just tell them it's hard though. So and it's and it's like and it's like you still get paid from that stream, but it's just like damn, like at least finish the song. But like you want them to finish it, like yeah, it's some. So I got songs. People be like, they wish I would have did a set and verse on. Yeah, me too. I feel you. Like I got this one song called Headphones. That song crazy. But it's like the song was I just think short. I'm, I know what you're talking about. I was Time just bumping it. Shit the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. yeah I, I don't even know where that came from. It was just like, I booked like a three-hour session. Yeah, it, it, like, sound like, it sound like you was fresh. Like you just you just jumped out the pussy. Like, I'm about to go to the studio. It sound like one of them songs. <laughs> but I, I had already booked the session. I'm like, all right. I get in the booth. I think I had like 10, 15 minutes left in the booth. So I'm like, all right, my session may be over. So I'm going through beats, and I'm like, me, I was going through because my man no signal. He no, my fuck, my man no signal. He always send me hella beats. So I'm like, I'm going through me and his text messages, and I'm going through the the, the audio files. And I'm like, and I heard this one beat, and I'm like, oh yeah, I could do something with this. And so it's like, like the first the first word you came out was headphones. And it's like yeah, because I'm like, all right, I got the headphones, and I was like, and I kept telling him, I'm like, turn me up in the headphones, bro. Not like I don't want to hear myself. I want to hear the beat because if I keep hearing myself while I'm rapping, it's gonna mess me up. So you don't like you don't like you don't like. Like when you hear yourself, you rather just not hear yourself. Just yeah, the beat. just the beat. So it was like I kept. I'm like he had the beat low at first because I guess he didn't. Th- he thought I wanted to hear myself like just not in the headphones. So I'm like, nah, keep turn me up. I'm trying. I'm trying to hit him eight of weights. <laughs> like that's, that's <laughs> them eight of weights. Them eight of weights get them one. Get them one liners off. Yeah. So I'm like, I had him play the whole beat through like three, four times. So I'm like, all right, mm. I only got like five minutes left. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna keep punching in, and that's how it went. So how long So alright So you got a three hour session How long it take you To finish one song Is it like How long it take you To finish one song If I'm bullshitting It probably take me A whole hour hmm. 
Like, yeah, it could probably take me a whole hour to two hours just to complete one song. But like, if I go in there and I know exactly what I'm doing, I know how I'm coming, I'm going to finish that. I'm going to finish each song probably before the time over. Mm. So do you, do you ever have times where it's like it might be one time where you make a, like you make a song in 10 minutes and then like one song you make a song in three hours? That's how I'd be like, I, I see the hardest songs for last because I know the songs that I don't really know what I'm going to say on, like, because I... Like some songs, yeah, they'd be written halfway. Then I keep punching it. Like sometimes you can listen to it and be like, oh yeah, yeah he wrote tell. most of this and then freestyled it. Yeah, I could tell mostly for like the second verses sometimes. When yeah, because sometimes my do. second verse, I get to the second verse and be like, I don't even want to do no second verse, but fuck it, I like the end of the beat and I like to do extra shit at the end of the yeah, beat. Yeah, so because like, you don't, because even because you don't usually do second verses. So like when you do do a second verse, that should be special. Mm-hmm. So no I'm cap. like, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and bang this second verse out. <laughs> Okay, okay. So tell me, all right, tell me what's like, <clears throat> what's a what's a what's a what's a day to day like a regular, let's say let's say a regular Tuesday for for D from the gutter. Wake up, brush my teeth, <clears throat> get in the shower, probably go outside, get some money. I go to work, get off of work, go home, play the game, or just go home and go to sleep. Like if I ain't getting no money, I ain't in the studio. I ain't really doing nothing. Mm. So you got you got block love type shit. Yeah, you love the block. Mm. Not even like I, I'm not even gonna say that. I mean, I grew up on a block, so it's like I just be there. You feel? Yeah, me? I don't think it's a bad thing because like like the, the houses, the town, them townhouses in Baltimore, like they right they right there on in the hood, right there on the street. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the hood though. I'm just I just be there. You feel me? That's where my brothers at. So yeah, I mean, I feel you. So let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about your brothers. You want to shout them out? Uh, they know who they is The whole SSB They know who they is Free That's what I was talking about SSB. Oh, SSB Oh yeah Slick Substantial Bosses Okay okay Who is that Who is Slick uh, Substantial Bosses Um It's a couple of us I can't even Not like the right. list But I'm saying like What like, what do y'all represent Uh we just You feel me We don't do too much We ain't for the socials We ain't flashing money No none of that We just out the way Getting money Minding our business Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. If you can't stay out the way, get your money and mind your business, you can't rock with us at all. Oh, so I can rock with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm you down. feel me? You mind, you stay out the way, cause we don't really do too much. We don't fuss with nobody. Like, ain't none of us beefing with nobody. We don't do that. I'll get the I'll I'll get the <laughs> SSB shirt for sure. <laughs> no cap. Yeah, merch coming soon. No, that's that's what you that's what you've been thinking about recently, merch. Yeah, merch. Cause uh, the manager I got now, he was telling me like you gotta get some merch or something. So I'm like, all right. I've been thinking that little designs and stuff. So I'm just like, that's the only thing that stopped me from dropping any merch right now. He told you. He told you about Shopify. No. Get Shopify. Like you can get your own dom. You can get your own domain. You can sell your own clothes. You can even even if like if if you don't if you don't got like a manufacturer like if you don't already got the t-shirts to sell type shit you can like you can just do it on there and like like as somebody buy it like it will. Send it off, and like it will make you to send it off. Like Shopify is pretty cool. Yeah, I got looking at that. Yeah, looking at that, cause it's like if you have Shopify, you can literally pick from like all the different type of shit. You can put a logo on, and you can just you can already have a logo or something or a design, and just put it on there. So look into that. Yeah, I got to look at that. I'm gonna definitely look at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what you what? So tell me like, so tell me like, do you have a? Do you feel like you're gonna have a branch in those days where you're just not doing music? I had them stages like I just be going through so much I don't even want to do music or like I just wake up some days I just wake up and I'm just like I don't want to do nothing I might have my you know everybody had their bad days and it just might be a bad and I'd be like I don't feel like doing music right now and I, I done mean, had them times like I guess I wasn't really talking about that way I guess I would say like more so like like motherfucking like don't you know how like I'm I'm rapping but like I'm branching out to like podcast shit. Mm-hmm. Like do yourself do you see yourself branching out to like some other shit? But it's like you know what I mean. Computers, I like computers. Taking them apart, putting them together, fixing them, stuff like that. Mm. So like if I'm not doing music, I'm doing computers. Mm. Do you so you like you got your own PC at home that you built? No, not even that. It's just like my father did it a lot, so it's oh, like he's with him. So it was like, I seen him do computers. I'm like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So it was like, I did like Cisco, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Took little um, internships that like help desk, like white intern and stuff like Nigga, that. Nigga, that's how we met. Yeah, that's how, yeah, that's how we met. So it was like, I was pretty much just, I just like computers. Yeah. Well, that's hot, that's hot. So like, okay, I feel you. So 
So you see yourself being like an engineer type thing. Yeah. Because like, nigga, I, I, I hire you as a cameraman. Yeah, that's cool. I used to want to do cameraman and shit like that. Like, yeah. Well, like an audio engineer, like it's like it's hella shit. It's hella shit you can do as far as engineering. And like, if you learn like simple shit, like like the shit I'm doing with all the mics plugged up and shit like this, so you can you can learn how to be a sound man for a movie or some mm-hmm. shit. <clears throat> so like, yeah, it's all a matter of like like that's why I felt like that's why I feel like I'm branching out, like just the whole audio world. You know what I mean? I mean, but it's all it's like not like we fifty nigga. We got. Like we got time, bro. Like for real. we still young for real. I was always told, like nigga, at the age we at, you can fuck up for the next thirty years for your life. Like make every possible wrong decision you can, and you still got enough time. Right. So like, <laughs> ain't how, nobody gonna remember that. That shit. You can be like, well, yeah, I remember. I was eighteen years old. I crashed my father's car into a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> And you're going to laugh at it then, you feel me, once you get to, get to that age, but then it's not going to be funny, but you can look back and laugh at it, though. Do you do you have some stories like that or block stories like that? I feel like I just sit back and laugh. I, I mean, I can't think. And I never really did nothing, like, nothing crazy. I mean, like, would it be the simplest thing? Like, you see... Like, I don't know. When I was, like, I think I was, like, 13... <laughs> this is my first time getting arrested. I was, like, 13. Oh, shit. <laughs> the first time. And I had a BB him. gun. Yeah, oh, the pump God. action BB gun, and we was like shooting things out the window of my oh, house. Oh hell no! <laughs> so somebody it was like somebody called and was like, "Oh yeah, somebody with a shotgun out here shooting people out their window." <laughs> so it was like, I'm just and I was laughing. That's thing I know it's like ten officers that I was trying to kick the door. In. So I find I open the door for them. I'm like, "Fuck it, they is even." I'm open the door, they gonna kick this bitch in. I'm 13, so I'm like, "Fuck it," I open the door. They just got they got they like with a gun. I'm like it was a BB gun. I come to the door with the gun like it was a BB gun. And they arrested you for that? Yeah, like they, cause you were shooting the niggas. I don't know what the fuck they. I don't know what the fuck they arrested me for. They told me they was going no destruction of property. That's what it was. Cause one of the niggas' cars we shot up. He said he was the dean at Central Booking or something like that. He said he was something. He worked at Central Booking. Oh hell no, them type of ass niggas. So he told he was like yeah he shot my car. What was like, that nigga name yo? I don't even remember I ain't even gonna lie Fuck that nigga From <laughs> Central Bookings You bitch <laughs> Yeah for real So they was just like I was the, They really didn't know What they did They told me I was young as shit They was like Yeah you young We don't even know What to do with you My mother came and got me Probably like Three hours later though Yeah I feel like As a teen As a as a, as a preteen A teenager like Growing up in Baltimore Like if you need to Test anything out Just give it to a fiend mm-hmm. Like that's the best, that's the best <laughs> They ain't even me. know Like <laughs> I was just shooting them Like they just like Ah who shot me I tried to go sit outside and play it off. They knew who was exactly. They was like, please don't shoot me. I don't know what you talking about. Oh, hell no. Nigga, how many times did you get arrested? I was probably, I was probably like twice. Hmm. It was uh, when I was young, though. Oh. So it was like, what was the second time? <laughs> probably the same dumb shit, though. <laughs> Holy shit, yo. Because if you know, when around that, you, what year that was? I'm 13, all the way up to like 15. That's like, yeah, like. It don't even matter. You live at Park Heights, the police going to fuck with you. Mm, I felt that. So it's like, they would just say, they'd just be bored. They'd just be fucking with us for no reason. So ain't even really, they would just like, I guess they just tried to arrest me to scare me for real. I ain't going to lie, I was scared as shit, though. That was my first Hell time. Yeah. It always going to be. <laughs> I'm crying like a bitch in the back of the paddy wagon. <laughs> like, <laughs> That was my first time ever getting arrested. Oh, hell no, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. I, nigga. When I was doing my own podcast, I was on, like, episode 12, nigga. I was I was fucking had an attitude all the all podcasts. I was like, I don't not fuck 12. <laughs> fuck that shit. But oh, that's good. That's good. So that's a regular. So what? So so talk to me through, like, a like a regular Friday. Like, you, you, you with the gang. Y'all, the plan is, is let's spend some money. Let's 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 get some bitches. With, like, what's what's the, what's y'all moves? I ain't really hold you. I'm not even a social person. I probably got like two, three homeboys that I just hang with collectively. If we do go out and it's very rare, it'd probably be like a strip club or something. Mm. Probably like Norma Jeans or something. You a strip club guy? We just go to the strip club. The well, I really don't. It's not even like I just be in there like all the time. I really, it's just, it'll just be like. Every once in a blue moon. That's some manly shit. Like if we not in the, if we not on the block, then we in the studio. Mm. Tomato, tomato type yeah, shit. That's all I do is studio. I don't really go nowhere because I ain't a social person. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you, but nigga, you said the strip club, like nigga, I'd rather you say like you just get a bottle and go fucking chill. No, I don't know. So we the- pop up, we just like we gotta go somewhere. It's not like we just be all these niggas. 
<laughs> I guess if you say I ain't Ray like sitting uh yeah, it's not Ray before us. It's Hella just us. Yeah, just <laughs> riding around in the car they boy. No, we gonna go to the strip club or something. <laughs> Alright, so so you going to the strip club. How 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 much do you be throwing? I ain't gonna lie. Probably not a lot. Maybe. I don't really I won't even recommend a strip club. Like not saying like I'd be like, let's go to the strip club. They'd just be like, let's go and I'm just like Man, All those, right. those sound like some manly ass niggas. Like they, cause I only hang with older niggas. Yeah, so yeah. it's like those that's, niggas they thirty and forty. They that's all they know is. Oh, yeah, fun come type on, shit. Nef, we going to the strip club, and I'm just all right. <laughs> yeah, bro. And yeah. it's like you like you feel me. I never been a strip club type nigga, so I just be in there. And it's just like all right, they hit shaking ass. I mean, all right, that's cool, but like I ain't really. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> nigga. I went into a strip club with five singles. <laughs> Game they up. don't even make, If you throw a mic You feel me Sometimes you don't even Got to go in there You go in there Get a drink And just sit there Yeah for Loud real. music You with your mans Or you with whoever Your people's from the block Family It don't matter Yeah for but real Other than that I don't really go nowhere I'm a homebody This bitch This bitch walked up I mean like Can you give me a tip For my little dance Get that bitch two dollars <laughs> <laughs> That's how they do. Show some love. And I'm like, I ain't got it. <laughs> I don't even know you. He better than me. My young ass prayer pressures. I straight was like, yeah, you go show it. I see now my first time in a strip club. I was it was my first time going to Atlanta. I think how old was I? You went to the strip clubs out of Atlanta? Yeah, it was I wasn't even old enough to get in. It was just the niggas around me the reason I got in. I think I was I like I felt that. <laughs> I was like 18 No how old was I Yeah I was like 18 I didn't have 18, 19 I didn't have an ID Or nothing they Damn like, So once they come to me I'm like They like ID I'm like well I ain't got it You and see that That's a real <laughs> nigga He don't got to worry about an ID <laughs> I ain't got no ID Well I try to get my voice down I'm like oh, I, I left my ID home I ain't got no facial hair Baby face So they like nah bro But I'm like nah They're my peoples and he be like, yeah, he good, he with us. And he be like, oh, all right. That's all. Or oh, they just make you pay extra Nigga, to get in. I'm, I was, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to Atlanta like in like two or so months. Like, tell me what I'm so, what I'm expecting in them strip clubs. Strokers, platinum. What is the Strokers? That's the name of the club, Strokers. Oh, <laughs> that's what it's called, Strokers. You got struck. Uh, I I want to go to Magic City. Though. I've never been in Magic City before. Mm, that's the late <laughs> one. Yeah, but that was my my first time down there. I think I spent like. <laughs> like thirty five hundred on one stripper. What the fuck? <laughs> thirty five. That's three thousand yeah. and five hundred dollars. I swear to God, I was. That was my first time in a strip ones? Because you can, you can only throw ones in there. Oh hell! So no. it's like you can't just be in that bitch. You like, oh yeah, I got all these twenties. I'm throwing twenties. So I'm like, all right. I straight get my own. It was my first time in a strip club. So I'm like, where do y'all get the ones? Hold from? on, wait, wait. <laughs> you was throwing niggas be throwing twenties in there. Nigga get drunk enough, he probably throw a hundred dollar bills in there. You can get put up for that shit though. For throwing hundreds? Yeah, you can got one. Cause like, how are we supposed to break that shit up? Exactly. I don't know. But yeah, I gave my uncle like I kept giving him money. I'm like, he go five hundred, give me some ones. That was my first time. He was like, yo, get some ones. We in the strip club. I'm like, all right, here go five hundred. Thirty five hundred dollars. It started off with five hundred dollars. I'm like, is this one strip? And she came up telling him, your first time in a strip club. I'm stiff. I'm like, I didn't talk to females before, but I got. <laughs> Naked women trying to talk to me, so I'm like, she like, hey, and I'm just like, oh, what's up? <laughs> so you telling me you told your man, I was I've been calculating five hundred divided by thirty five hundred. You told your man to come back seven times. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there. She like, she talked to me, and I'm like, oh yeah, I like, I like what she's saying to me. She mm. like, oh yeah, you could be my was, little boyfriend. What was her name? I don't even remember. <laughs> I just know I was in there having fun. I'm like, all right. Like she that. was like, can I dance for you? And I was like, cool. And I'm just sitting there at first. I'm just like, what I'm supposed to do? like, throw some money, nigga. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> As I keep doing it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> she told you she told you throw some money, yo. <laughs> she threw, I threw all that money on that girl. No, my uncle was telling me throw money at her. Oh. I threw all that money at that girl. She picked up and was just like, all right, walked off. I, I, I came in that club the next day. I'm in love with her, too. Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> she had like, she, she ain't even know me. I'm like, damn, that's how they do things. <laughs> That bitch, man. <laughs> I was mad as shit just before I met my girlfriend. Though, so I went thirty five hundred. Like you paid that bitch rent, bro, for that month. Crazy, right? I think I was drunk or something. I don't know. I just knew I had fun. I'm like, oh yeah, I want to go back. Nigga, what the fuck? You you going to jail was spent on that much money? <laughs> like I could not comprehend. And now that I think about it, I'm like, I spent all that money on that one girl, nigga. 
I'm out. Me and her going to Atlanta. We we going to strip clubs out there. I'm supposed to give her thirty five hundred dollars to throw. Nah, man. That don't even go to the strip clubs. You gonna spend all your money in there. Ooh. Cause you gotta think, there's no windows or nothing in the strip club. So you don't even know how long you've been in there. <laughs> <laughs> you going there at 12 p.m. You leaving? It's two in the morning. Oh hell no! That's how it be. You be like, damn, I was in there all that long. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, you do go to a strip club down there though. You gotta get some wings or something. Wings? So some which which which, which like, what's, so what's like the first recommendation? Like go to this strip club first. Strokers. Strokers. Sound like I'm fucking. <laughs> Shorty, I might have to walk in there by myself first, check the scene out with some ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got paid to get them clubs up there. They charge an arm and a leg to get them clubs. Are you serious? They, they charge you to get, you can't just walk in? If you don't got no ID, you got paid to get them. If you don't got no ID? I had to pay to get them. No, they was telling me I had to pay to get them because the people around me, they're like, nah, you good. Because mm. I think they was charging, they seen them charge a nigga $80 to get in the club because he ain't no ID. I'm like, damn. And he paid that. He paid it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a broke nigga. I'm be like eighty dollars. Well, some club you got paid to get in the club regardless though. Like you got to pay a little tip, like a little donation to get in the club, like forty dollars, twenty. Maybe I just been going to the broke down ass club. There's clubs down here that do that though. You can go in a club, you got to pay like twenty dollars at the door, forty dollars at. See the that? Door. That's that's a little better. What you saying? You, but you, you, you got to think it's Atlanta though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Eighty <laughs> bucks. Like nigga, I thought the houses was cheaper around here. Atlanta. Couple of them bitches, they expensive. Condos, all that. So shorty ain't even, shorty ain't even spent on your penis or nothing. She took your thirty five hundred and ran. Oh hell no! My face was big as shit. I'm just like, I just spent all this money on her. I ain't even care because I had fun though. <laughs> Fuck that! That is not fun. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I had fun, so I ain't even tripping. But now that I think of it, I be like, damn, I wish I had that thirty five hundred dollars. <laughs> Don't expect me to give you no thirty five. <laughs> So 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 tell me so since you've been to the strip club before, but like in Atlanta, how much should I go in there with Atlanta? It really don't even matter. Probably like three four hundred dollars. Damn, that's cool. I mean, it's a strip club. It's really no limit. It's really no minimum on how much money you throw. Yeah, I know. I never. I never. I never thought, I'm just talking about like for self satisfaction type. Oh shit. no, it'd be like take oh, a I a couple dollars it. down there. <clears throat> they be taxing. I was thinking like a rack at least. That probably gets you a pair of jeans. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Everything in Atlanta is expensive. Everything. I went there for a pair of jeans and spent like three hundred dollars on a pair of jeans. I'm like, I mean that's cool, but I'm like, damn. Well, you really think? But now that you adult and you got buddy, you be like, yeah, yeah. damn, three hundred dollars for some jeans? I don't, I don't care know. how much money I got. I don't know what type of rapper <laughs> money you had back then. I'm about to call the IRS on your ass. Oh man, like it's now that I'm a dog, I don't even be wanting to spend on I can have money. I don't want to spend it no more. Mm-hmm. I went to the market, but for the first time by myself, I said, God damn. You got you got a food stamp card? No, nah, I don't know. That's Why? what make it even worse. <laughs> Why don't you have a food stamp card? I don't know. I got apply for that. Everybody keep telling me to apply for food stamps. Bro, I usually get well my food stamps. And everything I get like two two fifty something a month, but recently they added like another two three hundred on that for no reason. Even with that though, food be expensive. Like nigga, you paying for it with your own <laughs> dime? Yes. Yeah, I went there by myself. I was like, I was telling my mother did it. I went <laughs> your mother, I know your mother. Your mother had food stamps. Yeah, she had to. If she was spending, if you telling me, nigga, you need to get food stamps ASAP. That was the first thing I thought about when I was a dog. <laughs> like yeah, I need stamps. <laughs> you need to get those, no cap. No cap. So, hold on, let me see. Oh, okay. Um, so we're running pretty good now. How do you how do you think this interview is going? Good. Do you feel like your audience is gonna understand a lot about you? Yeah. Cause I done did interviews before this and they just asked random they be like, So how are you to them? I'm like, I'm good. Oh, okay. Um <laughs> Why is your name D from the gutter? And I'm just like, yo, my nigga, <laughs> ask me something serious. Yeah, yeah I feel What good. motivates me to do music? Because they just, yeah, so what made you choose your rap name? I'm like. Yeah, that shit is basic <laughs> as hell. Like, I, yeah, I figure, I figure like, it'd be, it'd be easier for me to interview another rapper since, like, I understand, like, the type of shit, I, you know what I mean? Right, and I, it's been time, I didn't, people didn't interview me, they got a notepad out asking me questions, and I'm like. You suppose you could have practiced this before I got here or something. Niggas got a whole note like a notebook like I don't know. I'm I I damn near I like I figured like the only notes I took for this interview, it was two things. It was Neflo and I put B S E. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it's SSB. 
Yeah. Well, that's smooth. That's smooth. I'm sorry I said it wrong, guys. I don't <laughs> no, mean, you good. I mean, disrespect you. The way my music be set up, half the time, sometimes it, it be some niggas that don't understand, so I gotta let them know, like, I said this. And he be like, oh. Yeah, that's why I be asking, because I, I definitely don't feel 100%. It was like the confident. bass be so strong, it's like certain songs, you gotta turn the song down and just don't even focus on the beat, actually listen to me, and you gonna hear exactly what I'm saying. You're like, oh, okay, it's just that. He got these strong ass eight of weeks. Nigga, you was I feel like I feel like personally, I feel like you was floating on beats before they said Gunner was floating on beats. If you ask my personal opinion. I take that. That's my person that's me giving you your props. I don't you don't gotta you don't gotta agree with me. I'm just that's just I'm like, nigga, when that when that four door dropped, nigga, I'm like it was something different. I'm like, nigga, I'm about to slide on your block in the floor. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, I was I was I was fucking looking on my Instagram file. I was like, who am I to start some shit? Mm-hmm. I just had that shit. That shit. Yeah, you want to start a mosh pit or something? I'm about to start some shit. DM a random nigga. Like, you a bitch ass nigga. It's like no. So like, so tell me like your future. Pro- how many projects you feel like you gonna drop this year? More. Ooh, the, 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 I'm gonna drop before this year, and I'm gonna drop after this project. Probably one more, but next year, I'm trying to drop a couple. I ain't even write about projects next year. Mm-hmm. I'm just doing drop hella videos because I got all these songs, and a lot of these songs Don't need videos. videos. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to get videos to these songs. It's just certain songs I feel like I should have been to them because my flow didn't change so much since some of these songs. I'd be like, I don't even want to do a video to that song no more. Mm-hmm. So it's like, next year, I'm only focused on videos. I'm gonna have I'm gonna be in album mode, but I'm not really gonna be so focused on it as much as I'm focused on the video. Getting content out. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, because like me personally, like like the <clears throat> I can tell you how how we de- how we think a little differently. Like you you be like you just like eating something like oh I'm gonna drop this mixtape right now. And then like a month later, you be like oh I'm gonna drop another one now. But me, I'm thinking like oh I want to try like in the beginning of 2021. I'm like oh I want to try to drop the album or something. And I try to space my shit out because I, I make my beats and all that shit. So that shit, like, make the process longer type shit. So I just try to space myself out so I won't. Because I don't like the, like, how you said you like the pressure on you type shit. I don't like, like, being like, oh, I have I got to have something by January. You know what I mean? I don't like being like yeah, that. That's just be me. I got to keep myself uncomfortable. If I can make myself comfortable, I'm just going to get lazy. I feel it's like you can make yourself, you feel you can make yourself uncomfortable in different ways. I feel like I'm not comfortable until I got a couple M's, though. That's how I feel. Like that's how I gotta carry it. I just feel like that's how I gotta carry it. You heard what little baby said. Um, I ain't got a hundred M's yet. I can't chill yet. I just feel like I just gotta stay uncomfortable. If I if I get if I get comfortable, I'm not gonna have that same drive. Like I'm gonna be putting out music, but it's just gonna be like this cool, but this not you. And I got certain songs like that. Like I send my songs to, I send it to the, my homeboys as producers. I send them the songs before anything. Well, I send it to a female, so I get it from a, like somebody who actually do music, just like I do music from their perspective and a female perspective. Because mm-hmm. you know nowadays a lot of your fan base is females. For sure, you know. Did you did you even know like the average hip hop fan is a middle aged woman? So it's like you gotta. Hey, I don't care, nigga. Half these niggas they don't even listen. They not even listening to what you saying. They just hit a beat hard and how you sound on the beat. They like, oh yeah, this hard. A lot of niggas don't listen because there's a lot of niggas that bump my beat. They can't even tell me what I'm saying. They just. Like that shit hard though, and I'm just like, all right. What? Do you yeah. feel? Do you feel more appreciated when a nigga walk up to you and recite like damn near a whole verse, word for yeah. word? This true story. I was on a block, like I'm gonna say, I was outside around my way probably like two, three weeks ago, mm-hmm. and a nigga just kept staring me at his at, at the red light. So I'm just like, I know the type of person. I'm like, what the fuck, dude, keep looking at. <laughs> So I the walked past pack. the car. He just like, yo, bro. Like he was like, he he was like, you sang that song. I'm like, what song? He started rapping the song. I'm like, yeah. He like, that. I was like, that's it, hard, ain't it? Or like <laughs> if a nigga ride through the block and I hear my song, cause it's been times. Or like I was at a car meet one time and a nigga was blasting my music. I didn't hear it though. My homeboy, he like, shh, you hear that? And I'm like, you feel like you paid it? You feel like you got a little? You got your little? Return, I got some type of buzz, like return on profit type shit. Like, it just feel good when I hear other people hear my, listen to my music. Or, like, I might look at my Instagram sometimes just be like, this shit crazy. Like, people really be bumping my music. Do you ever see yourself hanging up your jersey while you still living? Or you feel like you're taking your jersey to the grave? No, I don't know. I'm going to be, like, 60 years old still dropping music. Same. I feel like... <laughs> hey, like, why this old-ass nigga still dropping music about exactly. the hood? Like, no, Jay, like, Jay-Z, the only nigga I know that's dropping records at 50. 
And he, he and I feel like I can do better than that yeah. at 50. Oh, you still got old niggas that still rap. Kanye still rap. Nigga, imagine, imagine hearing, imagine hearing NBA Young Boy when he fifty drop, drop fucking house. Niggas gonna listen to that. <laughs> but niggas like Kevin Gates, not them niggas is old. That nigga Kevin Gates, he got them bunnies. Yeah, Kevin Gates. Uh, oh yeah, I did see that picture. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Kevin Gates. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Money bag, yo, then he just turned like 30 something. Hell yeah. Like, if these niggas this old and they can still rap about the shit they, they rapping about, they get older, people still gonna listen to them. Yeah, I mean, even like that's a factor. And then I feel like on top of that, like, um, like this generation, like this generation of the top artists are like, like kind of like doing that victory lap, like as far as like is making room for like we don't nobody don't know what the next generation is. <clears throat> so it just give it just, for us upcoming people, like for one, it gives us that one thing like, oh I can do this for however long I want to and still make my shit. And then for two, it can be like I like we nobody knows who the next generation little baby is. Mm-hmm. Like and then it's like it's unpredictable because niggas went from like Niggas went from like Cameron and fucking Dipset. Now it's Lil Uzi Vert. Like who would have ever thought? Like that's why like you just they gotta look like our parents. Like how they the age they they still listen to niggas like Wayne. Wayne old as shit. Hell yeah. He still he still a goat though. Yeah, he old nigga. Eminem old as shit. These niggas still old and they still got their same fan base. So doesn't matter as we get older, we still had the same fan base, but it still keep building up though. Yeah, but like, do you feel like you're gonna have that? Like, listen to Lil Wayne now. Like, he might have like listen to Lil Wayne now compared to like 2000s type shit. Like, you can kind of tell like he 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 don't have as much as many sparks as he do back then. You know what I mean? He's still hard though. Like when like when some of these new rappers get him on features, it's just a legendary automatically because it's Wayne. You, yeah, the, the the baby one. Yeah, like the baby. Like it's like you can say you got a, a verse from Lil Wayne like. That's Period. like a nigga saying, "Yo, I got Jay Z on my mixtape." Like, nigga, you got a mixtape, you got Jay Z on it. Fuck that. That's like that's like the pastor coming in church. Like, I got a message from God. Yeah, like, <laughs> like this nigga God, bro. I just saw this nigga God in the bathroom just now. <laughs> he told me some shit. <laughs> shit, bro. That's hilarious. But um, all right. So, what's all right? So you going? Do can you give me? You think you can give me a date on that album? You said you gonna drop. Uh, October the fourth. It's redropping a couple of days. I got a studio session tomorrow to finish all of it. Nigga, what's what's that's in that's in that's in that's in three days. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to have an interview out so it'll be like one whole thing. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, but it's like uh, I use Distro Kid though, so it's like that shit. I say I want to drop a, a album at a certain time and it won't drop my shit till like two days after. Yeah, bro. Everybody yeah, I keep telling me I start using United Masters. I think United you know? Masters is the same thing, like. Like I feel like keep using Distro Kid. Like don't don't because if because I because me I went from using TuneCore to Distro Kid to United Masters to like a whole bunch of different shit. Because I had just heard of Distro Kid. That's when I started from when I first started dropping on Apple Music in 2020. I think mm-hmm. that's when I first started dropping because my homeboy No Signal. He the one that told, he was like you know what Distro Kid is and I'm like no. Mm-hmm. And that's when he sent me. He was like yeah that's how you drop me music. And after I learned about that, I said shit. Oh, yeah. it's memory drop so every easy. day. So easy. And then it's like with Distro Kid, they don't really charge that much when you want to take your royalties out there. Probably like they probably charge me like twenty five cent, fifty. Yeah, cent, yeah, yeah. Dollar twenty five. Me, my, me personally, I feel like keep. I, what I would tell you is keep using Distro Kid because like they take that little bit out, but like you keep so much, you can <clears throat> you can drop whenever you want, like that day. And so I got hit nobody like, bro. You think we can drop this? This deal? What day should I drop this? What day can I drop this? And then like like compared to. TuneCore, like TuneCore, you get like you get more of your royalties back, like you get like a monetized YouTube type shit. Mm-hmm. But like you gotta like you gotta pay like say if you want to drop an album, you gotta pay for that album like type shit. Like no, every well, time you drop, kid, I pay for the. I, I think I pay for like the top package on it. So it's like it's like the lifetime shit and all that. Oh, so every time you drop, like that shit stay on there forever. Yeah, like even if I don't pay this real kid, my music gonna still be there. Yeah. Cause you know you gotta pay distro kid like every year. I think I paid him like probably like forty dollars a year. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's a, it's a good price to do that type of shit. I was talking about the. It was like a, it's another digital platform called TuneCore, which is basically the same thing. 
but it's like you gotta pay every time you drop type shit. Oh no, nah, see I couldn't do that. Why I gotta pay to drop my music? Exactly. If we were still like if we were still fucking being Tupac and dropping an album every three years, then that's different. Mm-hmm. But like yeah, but this show kid, like I would say stick for that. Like don't start no United Masters. Like <clears throat> the only thing United Masters can do is like get your shit in like two K and like shit like that. So like if you wanna do it throughout that but like the, it'd, be, it'd be like certain requirements like I tried to submit my shit to United Masters like you gotta have you gotta have the instrumental of the beat you gotta have the lyrics in there you gotta have and then you, it gotta be the clean version on top of that and then See, I think I ain't got like, time for it cause I don't even what, got no clean song that's what I'm saying like, I feel like if you can't take the crease with my music not for you cause it's not I'm not cleaning my music up probably like if I was to perform it like that's different. If I'm performing, I'm not dropping no clean music though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause that's what like that's what like. So if you want to do the United Masters to do that, you have to go through that. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's like as far as you got going on, I would say stick to this old kid type shit. Like just for the method that you use. Because don't you know how I say like um like say if you drop your shit like two weeks or so before, you can and then if you got the spot you got the Spotify for artists app. Mm-hmm. If you if you um if you do that and you drop it like two weeks before, if you keep checking the Spotify artist list, um you can like see it like they would they would like they will put it in the Spotify for artists app, like and you can add it to like a, a editorial playlist for mm-hmm. free type shit. So it's like a lot of little pockets you can get in if you really schedule your shit out. But that's like but if you if you just drop your shit like tomorrow type shit, that's like oh no, see won't let no you I got promote like I probably I probably promote like. Like this tape, I've been promoting it for some weeks because I was supposed to been drop it for like three weeks and I was supposed to drop this tape last month. Mm-hmm. Like I had a drop date for it, promoted it, everything, and, and I just I took it off my page and was like, I'm not ready yet. I had my own shit going on because like I gotta be mentally there to drop the tape too. So it was like, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Um. This project though, this project gonna be my craziest one. I ain't gonna lie. What's the name of it again? Uh, what is this one? A Big Neff. Big Neff. Yeah, you said that. Big Neff. I'm I'm looking forward to it. From if if it's like an evolution of a Neff flow. It's just a mixture. I posted like when I was saying how uh, I post. I've been posting everything about it on my close friends. I pretty much posted my close friends and was like, this tape is just gonna be like because like I said, I got I uh, I got be mentally there to drop and everything. I pretty much was just like this tape just like. A mixture of how I'm feeling and stuff like that, like sh- type shit like that. Like this, how I've been feeling. This my even this my type of emotions right now. Nigga, I this feel what like type of time I'm on. I feel like you need to post that type of shit like on regularly without close friends. Like, right. You know, it's not like an OnlyFans nigga. Why are you, you <laughs> right. keeping me exclusive? Because <laughs> I would have, nigga. If if I would have saw that when I looked at your story, I would have would have made it a question type shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But yeah, but I mean, that's that's it. I mean, all I'm giving is suggestions from artists, artists like. We still niggas. Right. <laughs> but um, any last words, any shout outs, anything you want to say? Uh, shout out to the gang. They know who they is. Free the hood. That's about it. You know, everybody know what it is. They know what it was. It's big enough. <laughs> oh, another question I have that I forgot to write down. So <clears throat> I was listening to your music and I heard the term Mac come up. I said Mac? Yeah, you was like, so, no, 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 no. I'm the Mac or something, and then I looked it up to see what it was, and I was gonna tell you what I, what it came up as, and I was gonna see if that what that meant. Nah, I don't even remember. You gotta actually tell me what song it was. <laughs> Nigga, I do not remember your <laughs> song name. <laughs> he said Mac. Nah, I had to hear it again. But well, basically, I looked up Mac, and it just basically came up as Mad Ass Crip. No, I don't know. That's not. I don't think. I don't know. You probably misheard it. I don't know. That's why I'm saying I gotta hear the song so I can actually give you an explanation for it. Like, yeah, should have fucking wrote, <laughs> wrote down the song name. That's what I should have did. That's it. Those are basically all the questions I had for you. Nothing too serious. I wasn't gonna ask you about the last block you slid on it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, we don't do that. I'm just a rap boy. <laughs> just a rapper. We just a yeah. rap. We pay taxes over here. Yeah. Yes, sir. But um. That's pretty much it. His Instagram is going to be in the description and shit. Go listen to his music. Um, if you're going to go listen to his music, fucking listen to Four Door first. Yeah, that's that shit. And then go, and then skip between all the music in between, and then cut on Netflo, and then you can play whatever you want. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's, my, that's, that's, that's what I did before I started digging in all the other shit. But that's pretty much it. Um, we out this bitch. 
the number one podcast on motherfucking earth. And that's it. Thank you, D from the gutter, at, a.k.a. Already. Neff. Yeah. <laughs> we out. <clears throat> All right, we good.